everyone, welcome to Miss Annie Reads and Her Couch. So the other day when we reviewed our I Love You rituals, I forgot about bread and butter. So I thought today we would review bread and butter. Do you remember how to do it? Will you do it with me? Ready? Bread and butter, strawberry jam. Say I love you as fast as you can. I love you! All right, I hope you're doing the bread and butter as well as Three Nice Mice, Wonderful Woman, which we'll review in just a moment, and all around the garden goes the teddy bear. So do you remember Wonderful Woman? Because it's one of our newer ones. It goes like this. A wonderful woman lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she knew exactly what to do. She held them, she rocked, them and tuck them into bed. I love you, I love you, is what she said. I also wanted to teach you another song. This is one of my favorite spring songs. And usually I teach it when we get our caterpillars. And I don't know if you've been seeing the pictures that I've been sending for the last couple days on our class app. These caterpillars, they are growing so quickly. And unfortunately, I don't have a ruler in my house. Can you believe it? So I've been using my finger as a reference. And in the pictures, when we first got them, they were about as long as this part of my finger. And now they're almost to my second knuckle on my finger. They're getting so big so quickly. I wish you could see better how big they were getting, but they are really, really growing quickly. And in my video that I'm sending out onto our app with just the pictures of the caterpillars, I was saying that these little black balls that you see, those are the caterpillar shedding its skin, similar to like a snake. I think they do it a little differently, but it's the same concept. The webs are just some silk that they create. I should probably look up exactly why they make that. And the brown stuff is their food. I wonder if they think it's yummy. So soon, they're gonna go up to the top, hang upside down, and make a, do you know what they're gonna make? We'll have to see. Oh, here's one we can measure. Oh, look at him. Okay, see? See how big they're getting? But look at how he moves. See how he kind of pulls his back? very active right now. Isn't that cool how they wiggle around like that? So the song I want to teach you, it goes like this. You take your finger, it's called Fuzzy Caterpillar. So you take your finger and this is your caterpillar. So it goes like this. Fuzzy Caterpillar climbing up a tree. It wiggled left, it wiggled right, it wiggled right at me. I put it in a box, don't go away, I said. But when I opened up the box, it was a butterfly instead. You like that song? So what happened to the caterpillar while it was in the box? Do you know? Maybe you could look it up online, look it up in a book ask your mom and dad, but how did it go from a caterpillar to a butterfly? Let's sing the song again. Ready? Fuzzy caterpillar climbing up a tree. It wiggled left, it wiggled right, it wiggled right at me. I put it in a box. Don't go away, I said. But when I opened up the box, it was a butterfly instead. I really like that song. I've sung that for many, many years. Fuzzy Caterpillar. So for today's story, Miss, um, during our Zoom session, we sang a song again about vegetables. So with spring coming and spring here, I thought we would read a book about how things grow. So it's called Grow It. Illustrated by Georgie Burkett. Georgie Burkett is the illustrator, so draws the pictures. 
and the author it doesn't say maybe this people here child's play they must issue these books and have people that write these words grow it illustrated by Georgie Burkett Look at me, I'm on the compost heap. Ooh, new word, compost heap. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Why don't you go online and look it up or ask your parents? We can grow some of these seeds. I'm sorry, can we grow some of these seeds? Look at this. I wonder what seeds those are. First, we'll fill up the tray, spread it out, these seeds are tiny. Can I push them in? What are they putting inside the container? What is that that seeds need to grow? Are all seeds the same size? You need to water the seedlings. Oh no, I'm all wet. Now you'll grow just like the plant. Is this how people grow? Why are we planting these outside? I'll sprinkle these seeds in the soil. Soil is another word for dirt. Why would we plant seeds outside? Why do we plant them inside? How much water do these plants need? My hands are muddy. Ooh, the water's cold. I'll pull out the weeds. We don't want them. Hmm, why don't you want weeds in your garden? What do weeds do to plants? Should I take them to the compost heap? There's that word again, compost heap. Wow, are the sunflowers taller than me now? The tomatoes are heavy. Are heavy, I'll tie them up. Why would you need to tie them up if they're heavy? Hmm. We need a rest after all that hard work. Woo! This pumpkin makes a great seat. So many tomatoes. They're really juicy. Would you like these? Yes, let's swap. I know some of you tasted the nice sun warm tomatoes that were in the garden last spring at school. Aren't they yummy? Here I am. These beans are crunchy. Are the lettuces ready? Plenty to share. Homegrown salad, nothing tastes better. What will we grow to eat next year? One day I'll be as tall as these. Sunflowers can grow to be extremely tall. I had a neighbor one time who had a sunflower that was taller than the first story in his house, the first part of his house. It was amazing. It was huge. Just grow it. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I hope you enjoyed the song. I wish you well. I wish you well. All through the day today. I wish you well. Take care, friends. I miss you. Bye.